So the question is, well, what's the 20th century then? If the 19th century is the end of history, then what's left? And this is where Nietzsche comes in. Because Nietzsche comes in and says the 20th century, he's at the dawn of the 20th century, but he's saying that the 20th century will be marked by our denial of the death of God. It will be marked by our fleeing from freedom, from our free, fleeing from the idea that there is a non-divided reality, fleeing from the idea that we have to decide ourselves, right? That we have to, which is what anxiety is, that we don't know what we have to do. We have to make these decisions without anybody, no leader telling us what the answer is, that we will find this burden too much to bear. And that's why he tells the parable of the death of God. In the parable of the death of God, he's not talking to people who believe in God. He's talking to people who don't. The elites, the humanists, the scientists, he says, God is dead and you don't know it. You think you know it, but you don't realize it. You haven't experienced it existentially at the heart of reality. So you will fall for new totalitarian leaders. You will fall for new age mysticisms. You will fall for, for these ideas of wholeness and completeness. And by the way, the the secular version of that is the commodity, commodity satisfaction. There is a commodity out there that will fix me, that will make me feel great if I earn enough money, if I have enough things. That's just the secular form of wholeness and completeness. Whether it's psychedelic enlightenment, commodity satisfaction, uh, sexual uh, enlightenment, all of these things are attempts to flee from our freedom. This is what existentialism is in a nutshell. And so finally, what comes after Nietzsche is Freud, Freud and Lacan. Psychoanalysis is the technology that is designed to help you confront the primal agony of the death of God, to alphabetize that experience. And that's what parotheology is. And that's what wake is. Wake is the alphabetizing of the trauma of the divided nature of reality itself. 